Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your two-time Florida high school state champion from Middleburg, Cheyenne Cruz. Cheyenne, and I should say Fargo All-American. We've got a lot of <laughs> accolades there, don't we? Yes, sir. So um, I, what is it, how does it feel between one state title and two state titles? Um, it feels great to have that second t- state title, but it also, it, it keeps, it, it makes me keep wanting more. Like it, it makes me want to go for that three P. Got it. Got it. So motivated, motivated. And you were motivated. I mean, I remember the celebration after this one, the celebration after the first one, you, you just, you're excited about competing and, 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 and winning and everything else. Yes, sir. That's awesome. All right. So before we get to talking about your background and everything else, um, let's go off the mat. You good with that? Yes, sir. All right. You call me, sir. Making me feel old. All right. (laughs) It's okay. Um, Sushi. Yes? No? Yes. I love sushi. Do you really? Yes. The raw fish and everything? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. What about... uh, Pineapple on pizza. Is that a thing or no? No, I don't like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roller coasters. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. What about the ones that like at the beach where they like put you in a thing and they slingshot you? Would you ever do that? No. Would never do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So what's uh what's your what's your favorite subject in school? Um, none of them, but if I had to choose, uh, probably math. Okay. What is it about math that's over the others? It's just easier than like, I struggle with English. Math has always come easier to me. I got you. I got you. All right. And is the least favorite English then? Most definitely. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I got you. All right. So, you know, um, one of the things that was really Funny, I would post it. We were talking about the girls and and everything else, and and uh, I think I posted some um, some rankings and different things like that. And your your team, your the even like the boys on your team, your team as a whole, they like to they like to talk about how tough your your team is, the middle world girls team. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. What, where's that pride come from? Like it's just a a team atmosphere or what? Yeah, I, I, it's just a team atmosphere. And then our coach, um, he, he's big on like the, the, the being tough about it and stuff. Um, both Cole and Jamie Harrison, both of them are both like that. They're pretty tough on being tough and being aggressive and everything like that. Very cool. All right. So, um, a couple more questions off the mat and then we'll go on the mat. Is there food you don't like? Um, fish. I don't like, 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 what kind of fish? Like, brim? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> fish. fish. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, are you, uh, are you listening to music when you, uh, when, when you warm up? Yes, sir. What, what are we listening to? A range of music. It can go from, rap to pop to anything really do you remember what you were listening to right before you wrestled your state finals i do not (laughs) you do not remember okay no i do not i appreciate that okay all right if i gave you a time machine are you heading back in time or forward um back in time okay where are we going uh probably when I was littler, probably. Okay. Just how stress free everything was. There wasn't pressure. There wasn't an object of getting older. It was just you're living life. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. All right. Cool. Is there a is there a skill or a talent that Cheyenne has off the mat that people don't know about? Mm, I don't. I don't think so. I mean. I played football. That's pretty much about it. I played tackle football with my brother and stuff when I was growing up, like around 10 to 12 years old. Okay. 
So how did you get into wrestling? Uh, my brother, he, um, he wrestled his eighth grade year in high or in junior high. And it was just kind of something I'd played football, softball, baseball, flag football, cheer. I've done a variety of sports and never found like the one, I mean, I, there was football and I'd always enjoyed that, but there was never the one that like, I truly felt was my sport. Mm -hmm. And then Austin, uh, which is my brother, he started wrestling and he was like, come on, you should try it. Like, just do it. It's okay. Like, try something new. And I was like, what the heck? I've done everything else. Why sure. not? Right. <laughs> and you fell in love with it from the I moment you got there? It. No, no. Okay. <laughs> I hated it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually hated it. Um, I And then I stuck with it because I wanted to give it a little bit of time, like, maybe I'd fall in love with it eventually. And that's actually what happened. Um, but I hate, hated it eighth grade year. Um, and then got into a little summer of eighth grade year going into ninth grade. And that's truly when like, it, I fell in love with the sport. I was like, well, maybe this is something for me. Like may maybe this is my sport. And then I've just fell more and more in love with it as I've continued to wrestle. So what changed? Um, definitely, probably the amount of like, the knowledge I started to get in the sport. And the fact that like, I mean, winning always has a big part of it. That <laughs> I wasn't losing every single match. And I was wrestling people that were closer to my size, because in, in junior high, I was wrestling up to weight classes. So I was about 200 pounds wrestling up he heavyweight which is they could be 265 mm -hmm. six foot three so like I, I was I was a little five foot three 200 pounds so like it, it was a little rough um but then mm -hmm. I, I got into summer of my ninth grade year and I changed coaches and I think that was a big part of it too um I went from my junior high coach to my high school coach um both coach call and Jamie Harrison both of them, it, it definitely changed and put in perspective that like it, it become a team for me. It become a family. Very cool. So you had success as a freshman, not a state title as a success necessarily, but still success. You you were you were, you know, you made the podium. You went to Fargo. Yeah. You were an All American. Yes, um, sir. And we're on this trajectory. You win a state title as a sophomore. Now people are going, you need to watch out for Cheyenne. Right? <laughs> is that a good That's thing good. or is that a bad thing? Was that a pressure thing? Do you feel pressure? Um, I did definitely feel the pressure and it felt like there was this, this giant target on my back now. Cause like freshman year, I, I mean, I was new that nobody really knew who I was. And then I started winning. Um, and went undefeated sophomore year, won a state title. And it was just like, oh, wow. Like, now I have that. I'm a state champ. Everyone's going to know Cheyenne Cruz, the state champ at 190. So it was like, it definitely put a huge target on my back and put a lot of pressure on myself. Not really other people putting pressure on me, but, sure. but right. me putting pressure on myself of like upholding that for me. And not wanting to like disappoint my family, disappoint my coaches, and everything like that. So, how did you handle it? Um, how'd, you, how'd you handle the pressure to be able to do it again? And how will you do it next year? Uh, honestly, just taking every match at, at one at a time because anything happened. That's something I have said all season this year. Whether it was to the the first year wrestlers that were coming into Middlebrook's room, or um the the girls the return is from last year or to myself or anybody really um just anything can happen you've got to walk out in the match and take every match one match at a time you can't go into a tournament and be looking for who you might have in the finals you got to take your first match and then your second match and then your third match and whatever happens is going to happen you just got to practice what you um uh, or uh, play how you practice so mm -hmm. you got it all correlates together okay so Will we see you on the mats at Fargo again this year? 
Um, that's, that's the goal. I actually have to go get my shoulder looked at. Um, I'm going the 28th, uh, so Thursday, to go get it looked at and figure out um, what's what the going next on steps are. Yeah. Yeah, to figure out what's going on with it. Um, and then after that, I'll figure out whether I will be at Fargo or whatever. Or not. Or, yeah. And then Super 32 in the future and so on and so forth. Okay. Well, very cool. Um, the last question I've been asking everyone is why wrestle? What is special about wrestling to you? Um, oh. That's all good. Sorry. You're not the um, first person that that's happened to. <laughs> I think I honestly, I think wrestling, it has, it builds a lot of mental toughness, but not only that, it's definitely become a sport that it builds the biggest family. Like, like it's, it's an individual sport, but it somehow becomes a family sport at the same time and a team sport at the same time, because you're in a room and you're working your butt off to for or everyone is. And your your dog tired. You have practices where you're cutting ten pounds for in two days to make weight, and you're dying. But everyone's experiencing that, so it brings everyone closer together, and it just it creates a family that I haven't seen in any other sport I've done, and I've done my fair share of them. So I haven't seen any sports that like it builds a family like no other, and just the mental toughness side of things. You not only do you have to be physically tough to be able to do this sport you have to be mentally tough because it, it both correlates yeah well you know what you've got you've got both of those things going for you i want to wish you the best of luck with shoulder and where i see you in the future i want to say congratulations on another state title good luck in the future on a third state title and um yeah it was it was a blast talking to you cheyenne it was great talking to you too. All right, you take care. All right, you too. Bye. Bye.